Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to review this very interesting watercolor palette. It is the Art Sensations Nassau watercolor fan pen with 25 colors. And it's a, a travel friendly watercolor palette. A friend of mine found it in a store and she thought of me and got it for me. And I've seen this online quite a bit. So as you can see, the packaging of this uh, watercolor palette is very <laughs> unique. The colors are in pans, which open up as a fan. It has five individual watercolor palettes, which open up. It has a sponge where you can clean your water brush. The water brush comes incorporated with it. And it also has a mixing palette, which is divided in two sections. So with any review I like to test out the colors initially and swatch each of them. I will say that when I tested out the colors I was surprised to see how similar some of the colors were. A lot of the yellows are very similar and you get like three very similar blues and purples and you don't get the black. As for the consistency of the watercolors, most of them are really dry before applying water to them. They are not consistent throughout. Some of them are really pigmented and some of them are like uh, a bit transparent. I decided to test the watercolor palette in a painting. I wanted to do a landscape from Maui for a mini illustration for my Patreon. And I came across a few problems <laughs> with this palette. The one thing I will say is if you use it do not close it before the watercolor pans are completely dry otherwise they will smudge against each other when closed i think that's a pretty obvious thing but i didn't think about it too much and i did get smearing on the back side of the watercolor pans the mixing area is really nice to use i used it uh, you can mix different colors so with 25 colors you can create a whole different color palette as for the opacity and the saturation as i said some of the colors are a bit more opaque some are a bit more transparent overall the colors are pretty saturated i would say that the purples and the greens are really saturated and also the reds the browns are not really that great and um, some of the blues tend to be a, a bit transparent but overall you can totally create a really cool painting with them. I do not have any information about light fastness. They don't show it on their website. I, it was hard to find this palette anywhere. I found it on Amazon eventually and it retails for 9 euros and 10 cents which is a steal considering how many colors you get. And even if they are a lot of similar colors this is such a great thing to have with you if you are traveling a lot or if you're doing plein air uh, paintings definitely recommend it for that so for its intended purpose i think it's brilliant i like the packaging it's similar to the viviva color sheets but a bit more sturdy and if it gets wet it's not a problem because everything is packaged in plastic and not in cardboard as the viviva color sheets overall i think it's a really good purchase it was super cheap even here in romania and if you're looking for something travel size then this is definitely the thing for you so let me know in the comments if you've used this watercolor palette what are your thoughts on it and i love hearing from you and i'll see you in the next one bye